All right, and we're in there. We in there. Uh, all right, so wh what are we doing in Dark Souls today? First things first, we should probably try to continue Seek or Seekmire's quest on your end. Gotcha. Forgot to do that last time. Gotcha. All right. So I believe the last time he was in Firelink and mentioned that he was going down below. Oh, so uh, is that Blight Town? Yeah. yeah, I believe you can go to the Daughters of Chaos bonfire through the war. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, and I got my big boy weapon. All right. Uh, is there anything I need to do in the crab area or no? Uh, eventually we'll come back to it. Yo, Zach, welcome. Hey, there he is. It's a boy. All right, so uh, fire link. Uh, Daughters of Chaos. Ah, fire. gotcha. You basically want to go up the stairs and kind of back through the boss arena, back into the swamp. Gotcha. That makes sense. All right. So what we were trying to do at the beginning of the game? Yep. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. All right. What up, lady? Uh. Talk. And she ain't got shit to say. Yeah, once we progress Seek Meyer's quest, then I can give you some stuff so that you can progress her quest. But oh, you said the boss. you said boss arena, right? My bad. Yep. Come on now. All right, but uh, we're gonna do good today. We're continuing that no death run. Feeling pretty hype. Yep. Yeah, that disconnect during Seath was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, we yeah. Managed. Oh, what is that beast of a weapon I'm holding? Yeah, so this is, what is it called? Like the Great Dragon Axe or something like that? Uh, yeah, it's like the Dragon King Great Axe or something like that. Yeah, Dragon King Great Axe. So this is the beefiest boy. I'm playing hashtag beef boys over here. Big damage. Big damage. I don't even use my shield. My shield is me. The only reason I have a shield right now is because this one has a passive buff that makes my stamina recharge faster. That's the only reason I have my shield. Because when I block, I use the actual axe itself. Pure beef boy status. There's a pink joke in there somewhere. Alrighty, so don't want to fuck with boulder Venus guys. <laughs> Definitely do not want to fuck with these boulder guys. Yeah, once you get out of the kind of spider's nest thing, you'll essentially just want to run straight across the swamp. It's pretty safe if you hug the right side. All right, getting through the mud, slowly but surely. Oh, Zach, how's the audio, by the way? Do I, I, I turned up all the audio, so I should be good, Stealthy should be good, the game should be good. But if not, I got shit to Can do. I be heard. <laughs> Voice. Vocals. Game is a tad quiet, but I personally don't mind. There you go. All right. Well, the game gets loud when we get to bosses, so. The game is like, oh, hey, oh, 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 screaming in your ear while, you know, giant lightning bolts rain down on you. <laughs> that is a pretty good summary of a lot of the Dark Souls soundtrack. <laughs> Especially the Demon Souls soundtrack. Oh, is that is that also very like ha 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 ha? <laughs> da, 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 da. 
<laughs> game screaming in your ear like Rob during game announcements. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely didn't post a clip of me screaming my ass off when the House of the Dead remake showed up. Um, let's go. <laughs> this fucking leech. Get aced, you awful thing. Yeah, Sigmar should be on the right side of that giant tree where all the leeches are. Oh yeah, the leeches drop a lot of upgrade material, so they're a pretty good thing to farm. Alright, so don't go up the tree, right? No. That leads to a different zone. There we go. Right side. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you should ask for a, a bit of your purple moss. Is he sleeping? Not the best place to zone out. Remember to lick cement and supply. Um, <laughs> yeah. Insufficient purple moss clump. Oh, you don't have any? Well, it's a, it just said insufficient. I don't know if I don't have any. <laughs> you might not have any. Mm. Uh, I have blooming purple moss clump. I think you need just the standard ones. But, bro, I'm giving you the better one. Yep. Okay, change plans. Uh, if you want to warp back to the bonfire. Fuck this leech, though. Okay. Uh, homeward bone it is. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, world. Goodbye forever. Uh, oh, I went back to the crystal cave, I guess. Yeah, so if you go back to the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. I believe the way that you were going earlier was to, like, the zone with all the weird egg people. Hmm. If you go there, then you can summon me and I'll drop you some items. Oh, okay. That works. Mm -hmm. It's weird in that, like, you can't summon me by, like, the bonfire. It has to be at a specific part in the level that's like not too far away from it but for some reason this entire zone isn't summonable oh, weird dark souls so i believe it's directly to the right of that kind of exit heading on down heading on down Oh, hey, another bonfire. Yeah, so to the right of the bonfire, there should be kind of like a little bridge with a big slope. Uh, yeah. I'll place my sign down by the bridge. Okay. Wait, am I going the right way? I believe if you take a right turn, ah, should be a path. Yeah, through the arc archway here. Yep. <laughs> if you summon me, I'll drop items for you, including my pantsu. Pants. You said in front of the bridge, like before I cross it. Yep. Oh. Ah, there you go. I was about to place it again. 
I think that I didn't. You were being summoned. Mm. Not a fan of what I hear upstairs, which is one of my roommates playing a lot of music and her child running around. <laughs> mm. I'm afraid she's going to come downstairs and make noise, and I don't want that. So please refrain from making noise. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the clouds on the left and on the right. Can't really do much here. So first there's that. Oh shit, what the fuck? Where'd you get all of it? Farming. Alright, tight. Those are important for uh, giving to the spider lady. Of oh, humanity? Yep. You'll need 30 to access a shortcut that'll further Solaire's quest line. Arch. Who thought it would be a good idea to have a boat race in the lava? <laughs> All right, so now I'll leave the zone. It's weird I could summon you in this one specific spot, but we can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's like anything past that, you can't summon me. For some reason, this little pocket. And, like, you can be invaded here, too. In this specific spot right here? Yeah. Don't know why anyone would try. But... Yeah, you would risk it getting kicked off. <laughs> like. Yeah, the boss is just right over there. <laughs> they could probably make it to the boss before they even load it into the game. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for that. No problem. Yeah, so if you're part of that daughter's chaos covenants or whatever it's called, you can give her 30 humanity ah oh ex it really like exactly 30 yep and what what benefits do i have by doing that uh you get a pyromancy spell and it unlocks a shortcut a shortcut to where a shortcut in the next area that lets you save a character from dying and also lets you skip a boss if you want to uh, do you think I I should uh, save that character, or? It's Amiibo guy. <sighs> uh, gotta go back down. Gotta fucking go make that covenant now. We got plenty of time. You can oh, always just hold on to the humanity. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It was exactly 30 humanity, and I have one humanity otherwise, so... I got plenty extra if you need any more. Okay, well, when we join back up, I, I'll uh, uh, enter Covenant. Mm -hmm. Join Covenant? Abandon former Covenant. Yes? Yes. Pyromancy. Covenant established. Offer humanity. For humanity, well, how many would you like to offer? Thirty. Uh, it won't let me go higher than one. Oh, you have to have the humanity, like consume it and then give it to her. So, like, it has to be in that little circle on the oh, top. Oh, okay. I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Um, eat ah. the humanity, Rob. Do it. Use twenty-nine humanity. Enter, oh, wait, oh, offer human, offer, 30. Here's a lot of human. Chaos storm. Rank gained. Okay, now what? Now you can go back to giving Seekmire the purple moss. Ah, good call. Yeah, we're... Progressing a lot of different storylines, so it's going to be a little scattershot for a second. That's fine. All right.
rob any percent. <laughs> Kill the animals, save the frames. <laughs> With, with with our Dark Souls remastered playthrough, it's more like eventually percent. Eventually, we'll get to that. <laughs> Making our way percent. <laughs> Praise the sun percent. Yeah. Real talk though, uh, if you ever want a really good uh, Soulsborne run, uh, I want to say. Uh, there's a Bloodborne run from a couple of years back at GDQ. Uh, Jesus, I'm Toast or something like that is the name of the runner. Really, that's a really good speed run. The guy like is legit funny and like is able to keep up commentary and also be a pro at the fucking game the entire time. Yeah, it's always fun when the streamers aren't just like completely stone quiet while the commentators talk. Yeah. It's nice when they add a little something to the stream. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's a boulder guy. Yep. Run. How way ahead are you? don't know if it's changed in the years since, but for the longest time, a lot of Dark Souls speedruns hinged on a certain enemy dropping a weapon of theirs. Oh, no. And then using that for, like, 60% of the game. Was it a good weapon, or was it, like, a glitchy weapon that, like, broke it for him? You know that uh, tough Black Knight guy at the Undead Burg that we fought? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. They have a halberd weapon, which is really strong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they use that up until they get to Anor Londo, where they can pick up a crystal weapon that's also really strong. Whether or not that's still the route that they use, I don't know. Yeah. Take your fucking clubs. I'm fighting a leech. Take your clumps. I shall not forget this. Take your lumps. A pure shield. Yeah. Get this cool guy shield. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Actually, is the shield any good? What does it get me? It's got a cool, like, kind of punching attack, where you, like, smash the spike into somebody. Oh, that's cool, but it doesn't give me the the, ex the ex uh, stamina boost that I like, so... Oops. Yeah. And you can't exactly one-hand your weapon at the moment. Yeah, exactly. We're getting there, so, we're getting there. Back to the bonfire. Uh, this time I have to run back, because I don't have a homeward bone, right? So... Mm. That's fine. Oh, there is actually a bonfire up by that, like, tree. If you go all the way to the top, there should be a item by a wall. Oh, the tree you said? Yep. There's a bunch of illusory walls that you can roll through. Oh. It should be on the left side. Plank shield. And then, yeah. And behind that chest, there should be another illusory wall. Twin humanities. Sick. Those will come in handy. A great hollow. Alright, careful. Slide down the ladder. Something died and gave me 400 souls. Yep. That's the Great Hollow. Alright. It's like a 
it's like a pseudo blight town. All right, and then uh, Daughter of Chaos again? Uh, now you can go and, or what is it? You can warp to Sens, or not Sens, the Duke's Archives. Ah, yes. So you know that area with all the crystal, like, enemies before the boss ring. You take oh, a right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There should be a yellow crystal golem. I go up to him and, like, bite him? Yeah, if you kill him, something happens. Ooh. Spoil. <laughs> All right. Duke's Archives. This place sucks. Yep. We uh we had a lot of uh <clears throat> disconnections here before and uh just makes me mad looking at these books now. Stupid books. Fucking reading. It's the worst. Nerd. <laughs> Come here, yellow guy. I'm going to smack hella you yella. up. <laughs> He's hella yellow. Hell yeah. You look like a chocolate candy wrapper. You look like somebody took a leak in the snow. You fucking... Oh my god! Why were you in there? Are Why are you a little girl? Seekland. Not to be confused with Seekmire. Who are you? Aww. Onion Bro has a daughter. Uh, so yes? Yes. I'm friends with him. He's a cool guy. Doesn't do much. Falls asleep in bad places. But still a nice guy. Yeah, he good boy. Alright, that's all she had to say. Uh, Back to the bonfire. Back to the bonfire. Clean it up. Side questing in a Souls game. Who'd have thought? Yeah, in the later games, it gets way more, like, specific with what you have to do and how you need to progress things to, like, make the quest line move on. It's mm -hmm. like, you have to fight this boss first, but if you do this first, then you screw it up, and it's all... You have to be very meticulous with how you go about it. I didn't even know there was a treasure chest in here. I just got an archive tower giant cell key. Get what item that gives you, but don't think it's really important to your build at the moment. Ooh, I got a bunch of armor stuff. What do we got here? Gotta check that out. Um, Look like the Chandlers. Yeah. You know, well, that guy from Seinfeld. <laughs> uh, ooh, this one's all better. But my weight goes up slightly. That only very slightly, though. And the buff is pretty good. I'll consider it. Oh, this one I'll take. Because this one's a pretty good buff. And then the legs. The legs are just objectively worse in every way. Great. Fashion souls is important. It is the most important. That was a nice thing about Bloodborne. That, like, most of the armor sets, aside from, like, a few that had, like, incredibly good resistances to certain stats 
were more or less interchangeable for like what benefits they gave you. Hell yeah. So you All could right. mostly just focus on how you looked. Mm -hmm. So where am I warping to? Back to Fire Lake. Fire Lake, baby, let's go. That's Pog. Uh, story-wise, like, what is going on? Siegmeier is trying to find a cool quest to do. Doesn't have anything particular in mind, just looking for a cool quest, because he's a cool quest guy. Hell yeah. His daughter came looking after him, because, well, he's trying to be a cool quest guy, but <laughs> obviously isn't very good at it, considering every road roadblock he comes up against just completely stonewalls him. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, he stayed alive this whole time. Yeah. So, you know, I'm proud of him. Oh, hey. Oh, hi again. You're both managing quite well, aren't you? I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Be back. Yeah, I've seen your father. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, now where to? I believe we can go back to the like lava area. Oh, the lava. Okay, so. Oh my God, this game is chugging today. I don't know why. Daughters of Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's all the teleporting back and forth. Yeah, the game like, is just like stage. I hate this. Stop doing it. Work to his own and stay at it. Mm -hmm. I can't Do load you know the how zone hard it if you is leave to, it. To load all these assets. <laughs> Alright, there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my bonfire as the daughter of chaos one. Because that one gives me ten Estus, but the fireplace only gives me five. Yeah. That's so, the Kindle. Yeah. And it's not too far of a walk, so. Yeah, exactly. Right down the hall, so. I figure I'll take the extra 10 to 15 seconds of running if it means I don't have to deal with dying in every fight. Not that I would die anyway, but you know. Speaking of dying in the ne or in any fight, or the next fight, this boss fight is particularly finicky. And either you can turn it into a cinematic fight where you essentially just like hit him twice and the, the boss dies. Or if that doesn't work, you can just fight him for realsies. Oh. Uh, so uh, it's uh, the bridge we were at earlier. Just go across it now. I'll place my sign at the start of the bridge. Oh, okay. Sign is down. Summoning. <clears throat> Ooh, I see an item in the distance. I want it. On board. Like my new shield. Yes, it's very nice. Gives me a constant health regen. Ooh. It's pretty weak, but eh, better than nothing. Yeah, regen's a regen, you know. So the boss fight doesn't start immediately. But this is like the arena. Yeah. It starts once you pick up an, a certain item at the end of this hallway. Well, jokes on them. I'm never picking up the item. Stuck here forever. <laughs> yeah, right. Our own little isekai. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, this way. Doesn't matter. Hey, friend. I mean, we don't. We don't have to fight it, right? You know. 
Like it's just chilling. We can leave it alone, right? Technically, people have found ways to get past this boss without fighting it, but I don't think we can Aww. with our setups. Is it just like a I... giant Diablo heart? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, so there should be an item over there that, once you grab it, kind of starts the fight. Before we do that, there's a there's two ways the fight can go down either you can grab it and run all the way back to the start and the boss will try to like jump to where the boss fog is uh -huh. in which it'll like be holding on to the kind of side path with its arms in which we can then hit its arms and then knock it off the side oh and then it would die that way yeah in the event that that doesn't like trigger then we just have to fight it, in which we like stand in front of it and it throws punches, and then we dodge the punches and then attack its arm as it's resting. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. So, which one you want to go for? Uh, we could try the running away one. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. He did not like that. Ceaseless. Oh, far. Or appears. Oh, oh. No. My game just literally stopped for like five seconds. Ow. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> Run I away. believe if we take the left path, we'll be safe. Which one? Eh, you'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> just got blasted. Don't call him Ceaseless Discharge for nothing. Yeah, right. I was about to hit Ceaseless Discharge. I'm 12. Right there with you. So if we hang out around here, hopefully the boss kind of jumps this way. Coming, friend. You coming? You coming? Hey, nice. Got him. Oh, my God, how'd you do so much damage? Once, I think once you hit him five times, then he just automatically dies and his health bar just goes to zero. Is it like a failsafe or something, or is that just part of the fight? It's like a cutscene, kind of like cinematic boss. Ah, gotcha. Oh my god, he melted? So I... mm -hmm. Yeah, so I believe the lava should be kind of drying up a bit. Hell yeah. Did we just jump down there, right? Mm hmm Yeah, if you look down there, you'll see some oddly placed enemies. Uh, no. The big pool of lava. Uh, do I go back towards the, uh, the bonfire then? You could rest at the bonfire, yeah. Recharge any Estus that you lost. Oh, um, I got a bunch of equipment for grabbing. Um, it's a pretty cool looking set. It's like a Grim Reaper kind of black cloak. Really good fire resist. I'm good for now. Yeah, so the way you were going originally should be opened up. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. 
the kind of path leading down to the lava. So I'd say that this area and onward is pretty much where the developers were like, crap, we got to get this game out soon. <laughs> All quality was just like halved and corners just constantly got cut. Uh, wait, hey, do you have a second? There's a bot in the chat. Got it. Ban user. Reason. Bot. Bam. Got him. Hell yeah. Thank you. Haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> right. Alright. Endurance up, baby. No. Oh. Nice. Do I detect the funny number? Yes. Yes. Very funny number. So they're like these guys attacking me now? Big like, people. Yeah, there's two of them that are hostile. Probably like, best to avoid them. Oh, just avoid them. Okay. Right. Yeah, I believe you remember when. What was it? What's her name? But the summon that we had for the spider boss. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Um. Oh, uh, I know who you're machete. talking about. Yeah, um, the machete lady. Yeah, yeah. How she, like, killed the two that were outside the boss fights. Uh -huh. And they exploded into worms. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the worms can do anything to you, but in their regular form, they can do a grab attack that basically infects you. Oh, and screws oh shit, game. there's like a big cim scimitar guy. You remember him. That's the Kappa Demon. Yeah. Joke's on him. I don't remember him at all. <laughs> yep. So if you look around the zone, you'll see just like a splattering of enemies just randomly placed. Yeah, I see. Uh... The These are literally placed like uh... fucking... Like level editor style. Yeah, the best description I've heard somebody say is that they were clicked into existence. Oh. Just like fanning the, the mouse over the screen, just randomly clicking. <laughs> Luckily, they don't respawn, so killing one of them. These, uh, these guys are a lot beefier than I thought they were. That's not, it's not great, but it is what it is. Yeah, I don't think I can be summoned into like this area. Shit. Although luckily you don't have to fight those like big ones with the hammers. Ah, uh, that's good. If you go to the right, there should be more of the weird kind of goat demon things. Yeah. Um, should I have my humanity before heading that way or after? Uh, I mean, once you clear them out, it might be good to become human because okay. there's a NPC invasion that progresses another quest line. Hell yeah. Although it's not really a quest line per se. Alright, fucking, fucking skull guy over here. What the fuck? I didn't even step in the lava. What the fuck? It burned.
What the fuck? Alright. Alright, game. You're getting my goat right now. Goats are being got. Yes, they are very got right now. And I'm not appreciative of my goats being got. <laughs> if it's not too many souls, you can just ignore it. Yeah, it's only like 9k, so it's not, you know, not killing it right now. Yeah, at this point, you can get that in like two minutes of farming. Yeah. Yeah, progress is basically hugging the right side of the wall, fighting more of the goat demons, which are much weaker compared to the bigger guys. God fucking, I'm not even touching the lava. Hot feet. Gotta go fast. Yeah, right. Must go fast. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is just, this is an absolute orgy of goat men right now. That was, that was just fucking awful. That was just fucking awful. Running didn't work, by the way. <laughs> or at least I didn't do it right. I'm gonna have to take them up one at a time, piecemeal. Great. Love that. That's my favorite part of this game. Yep. Fuck you shitty egg guys. Get out of here. Yeah, there is a different way that we could go to, like, progress the game, but there's a pretty helpful item here that makes that area much easier. So probably best to do this one first. Gotcha. It's weird that I can't be summoned, like, in this, like, dried-up lava pool. Don't know why. Okay, so each one takes three hits to kill. Now I know. Take that second boss in the game. <laughs> right. I forgot I should have tried to drop the dragon scales that I have. To give to you so you can upgrade your dragon axe. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I... Into the fire. These guys fucking suck, dude. <laughs> One at a time. I'm glad I didn't make my bonfire the fucking spider lady because I would have had. <laughs> I would be even angrier right now. <laughs> Granted, I'm not, like, actually angry, but, like, it's just Unimmune. such a long run. So oh, I think you're going the wrong way. Wait, what? When you took a left at that like lava pool kind of path, you go to the right. Ah. So wait, I'm not supposed to fight the goat demons. 
the ones with the giant hammers. So, so I, I've been throwing myself at a brick wall, basically. Stealthy, mm -hmm. I swear to God. Well, now I have to do it just on principle. Up to you. There yeah, we go. Yeah, here it has like uh, some soul items and a pyromancy, so not really useful to you. So which way am I supposed to be going? When you come down the path, like that you go down from the bonfire. You take an immediate right. So the bridge. Like all the way down once you get to like the lava lake. Yeah, and then I... Well, I wasn't even here! Fuck you! Uh, keeps kidding me with the lava damage. I'm not even near it. But yeah, I, I go down here and then I go to the right. Like over where the skull guy is, right? I honestly forget where all the enemies spawn, so I might be. They basically keep going forward, take a right, kill the guy with the double weapons. I should be able to place my summon sign kind of in that enclosed area that he's guarding. That dude sucks. All right. So going along the other path that I didn't need, that I did need to take. Okay. There we go. We're all cool. We're cool. We're hanging out. Yeah. So my sign should be kind of by those pillars. Going back. Got to find that sign. Like a random dip in the walkway that's really shitty of them. Said by pillars. Yep. <gasps> oh, you're not human. Sorry. Uh, you can continue. There should be a bonfire up ahead. Okay. Hopefully, you're gonna have to fight some more of those goat things, like the ones with the scimitars. Okay. 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 The scimitars I can handle. That's okay. I'm okay with the scimitar guys. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> okay, I'm not as okay with the scimitar guys now. I mean, I do have a humanity I could just break right now. I mean, you can't become human. Oh, right, through. but I can't reverse yeah. the hollowing. That's right. No. All right, just aggro and one of them. Come here. Come on. In, in later games, you could do that, but not the first one. Let me know once you get to the stairs. Fucking Satan guy. All right, when I can handle them in like pairs of one, like one pair, like it's it's chill. No problem.
Alright, come on, you asshole. Got him. First try, baby. First try. All right, do I do stairs or fog door? Stairs. Oh, well, the stairs lead to the fog door. Never mind. Uh, actually, there should be the stairs that go to, like, the bottom level. Yeah. Oh. If you take a right, there should be a... I don't... I believe, I I believe don't an enemy... Thing was, but... Oh, that thing, yeah. I like got a meatball with a dragon head. So underneath the area that you were just above, there should be kind of a walkway and... I believe an enemy pops out of one of the walls or a ceiling. Uh, so be wary I, of that. I see like a giant centipede. Yeah, you want to be careful killing that because it can do an attack that degrades your armors, like or your armor and weapons durability. Great. Uh, I, sh I have to go that way though. Mm -hmm. That's where the bonfire is. Oh. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, wait, I have pyromancy now, right? Can I shoot it? Uh, you don't have it equipped. You Can have to I? do that at the bonfire. Fuck! Well, the bonfire's right there. Well... Can I run past it? No, he's right on top of the fucking bonfire, of course. Here, I'll pick that up. Well, that is not very poggers of you. Ah, he's like bitch slapping me. Nice. Oh, thank God. That was stressful. Yeah, I'll place my sign down by the bonfire. Work. Dog. Oh. Do not refrain from barking. Thank you. All right. Be wary of boss. <laughs> well... Yeah, that was the strat. Uh, where, where would it be? Are you human? Yes. Yes. The oh, late hey. response. There it is. Being summoned. Yeah, if you need some extra humanity, I got plenty. Are you sure? I'm sure. 
got like 30 extra. Also, just gonna test something. If I drop this, can you see that? Yeah. You want me to pick it up? Yep. Oh, a Titanite chart. Cool. Now I'll try dropping a dragon scale. Because I have no use for them. Ooh. I thank you. And humanity. I'll drop. Yeah. So whenever well, whenever I see you like playing Dark Souls outside of our stream time, it's because you're like grinding and stuff. Yep, yeah, grinding, uh, being summoned to other people's worlds to help them with bosses, stuff like that. Oh, hi! Just playing for fun. Good guy, potato. Cool guy, potato. <laughs> so before we go that way, we'll want to go back up and fight those goat demon things again. I mean, we don't have to, right? Like, we could just, you know, let them be. They're probably chill, you know, right? Nah, so, they almost die. They almost die? Suffer not the goat demon to live. Much more manageable with two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think either of us has been hit yet. Sick dodge. So if we run up this kind of like stairway, we should be invaded by an NPC. Oh, sick. Any minute now. Any second now. Any second. Well, Hey. hey! Third time's the charm. Got him. Wait, was that it? Yep. Why was he worth so much? I think it has to do with your level. Huh. Or he's just worth a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, I thought you meant the big, big goat demons. No. no. Okay. These are the goat ones, I believe. The big ones with the hammers are... I don't know what they are. Like, weird bull demons or something. Yeah, they're big-ass boys. Something with horns. One more. We will have to fight one more of them, but there's two of us now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Just let them come to us. There's so much damage. Clean. And avoid that guy. That guy sucks. He's gonna be in Rush Hour 3, but he's only gonna be a cameo. So before we go through the boss fog, we'll want to go this way. Oh, Make on. a sick jump. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you can survive it if you have full health. Okay. Well, I didn't. I, I survived it, but. <laughs> well, before you heal up, I'll try doing this. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Nice. Yo, let's go. That's pigs. One of the only two ways to heal a summon. So we're going to want to kill these things. And one of them should drop an item. think you can press A kind of over here. Should be like open door or something like that. On one of them? On the big door here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. None of them dropped an item, by the way. Okay. Should be ones further up ahead. 
So this is what the 30 humanity opens. Ah. Oh, Vastor. Are you able to go through it, or do I have to leave? Okay. So once I leave, there should be a bunch more of those kind of bug things. You'll want to kill them until one of them drops an item called a Sunlight Map. And that saves Solaire. Yay, I like him. Or Amiibo Guy, that's his name. Preferred right. name. Right. His title. Yeah, his rank, as it were. Yeah, those enemies also drop sunlight metals. So it's a way for people to get sunlight medals without playing online. I can't hit him. It's too fast. No, it might. My thing is too big. Try a jumping attack. There we go. I don't know if I did it right. I don't think I did, but whatever. Be in there, TM. Yeah. Well, oh, hey, oh, hey, there's a thing over there. Gets the job done. Sunlight maggot. There we go. Nice. So now we're done with this this zone. For now. Sick. Uh, do I keep going forward or I go back? Uh, you're probably going to want to go back. Okay. I can do that. Oh, let me adjust my mic real quick. There we go. Chillin', 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 chillin'. Now that I think about it, you probably can't get back up. Oh, there's like a tree root path here. Oh, there is. Oh, cool. <laughs> I stand corrected. I guess my memory of Dark Souls isn't perfect. That's okay. You do your best and I appreciate that. It's okay. Tap. Okay, hang on. Maybe maybe this isn't so perfect. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. For some reason, it was like nice. preventing me from going that way. Uh, do I have to jump over there? Should I do that? I got plenty of Estus, nice. and the bonfire is like right over there, you know? I think there's like a soul item that you can get, but that's about it. Hey. Can I get a Platform. piggies in the chat? The Brave Warrior. Is there anything else along the top here, or is that it? I think that's it. I can't remember if there's anything important there. Yo, I got a piggies in the chat. Let's go. Piggies in the chat. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Lately, uh... Instead, instead of saying poggers, it's more fun to say piggies, because piggies are cute. <laughs> I don't know what a, I don't know what a pog is. I, I, I miss that train. The weird, like circular chip things. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the bonfire real quick, cash in, heal up, all that, and then uh, resummon you. Is that right? Yeah, we can either continue with this zone. Or we can go to a different zone. Ah, would a different zone be what you... Oh, yeah, you mentioned going to... We're done here for now, right? Yeah, for now. Okay, so where are we off to? Firelink Shrine. Hell yeah. Remember how I mentioned there's a boss that I killed in three hits? Uh-huh. Yep, gonna fight him. Nice. Should be fun. <laughs> Should be to the left of where Frampt, the giant snake, is. Oh, uh, teeth guy? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Garbage disposal. 
I just love that he sounds like a completely normal person. They didn't even try to alter his voice. It's just like Ted from accounting doing the voice. Doesn't even do like a snake hiss or have like a filter on his voice to yeah. make him sound like a thing. <laughs> just a guy. Just a dude. He's just some fucking dude in a snake costume. What a bro. Uh, so wait, I'm gonna go to Snake Guy. I'm gonna give him a bunch of the, uh, like the armor shit I've been carrying around. Oh, why is he sleeping? Yeah. Wake up! If you hit him one time, you can wake him up. But any more in that might make him, like, it might mess something up. Just to be aware. Oh yeah, another thing we can do is go to the Undead Parish and upgrade your weapon. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? With those dragon God, scales. Your teeth are so fucking ugly, dude. Sorry. Just like wait, do you have it doesn't have, hands. Why do you have three rows of teeth? Can't brush them, it doesn't have hands. But why do you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn it, stealthy. Uh <laughs> Ye old dentist. Ye old dentist. Oh god. Um okay, so what are things I can get rid of, probably? Uh like a bunch of the weapons and shit I don't really need, right? Uh, probably not. If you're content with your dragon axe. Yeah, uh, the dragon tooth. Should I keep that or no? It would probably be good to keep all the strength-based weapons in the event that you want to switch over to them. Gotcha. Uh, the crystal sword, I'll get rid of that. Uh, the great swords, do I need those or probably get rid of them? I guess you can get rid of them. Are they strength based though? I, I, I like, I'm just asking because I don't know what is strength based and what isn't. I don't know if the man serpent great sword is, but most great swords are strength based. Okay, I'll hold. I'll hold on to those for then. Uh, the shuttle, I I'll get rid of that shit. Yep. The moonlight great sword is interesting in that it's. I think you have to have a certain amount of strength to wield it, but its scaling comes purely from magic. Uh -huh. So it's good for like mage builds. <laughs> I want a big weapon for some reason. Yeah, apparently the Moonlight Greatsword is some big kind of like from soft, like thing that appears in a lot of their games across multiple series oh nice even in like armored core i think okay so the spike shield stat wise i think is exactly the same as my current one but does it have any other benefit or actually no it's way worse never mind fuck this one get it out of here I am. Is it... don't need it I need not to contain this item in my arsenal. Sleepy serpent. Oh, do not sell the maggot. I want to hold that, right? Yeah, it's pretty handy for the zone we're about to go to. Uh, and then the symbol of avarice. I'll hold on to that for the memes. Yeah. I believe it increases item drop, like chance, and gives you more souls when enemies die. 
Gotcha. Although it slowly drains your health. So it's yeah, I remember that was like the big thing about it. Yeah, good. Th or a thing a lot of people do is after defeating a boss fight when being summoned is quickly put on that to get extra souls. It's up until souls actually like appear on your screen. The fixed amount of what they are hasn't been determined yet. Level up your great axe. Ah, uh, uh, I was trying to. Oh, that's right. I should level up my great axe, actually. How do I do that? Uh, you can go to the blacksmith that's, I think, the Undead Parish. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. I mean, there is a blacksmith in the zone we're going to, but might as well do it now. Mm -hmm. All right, down the stairs we go. Oh yeah, I looked it up for if you want to get that like giant hammer that Smo had from the boss fights. Mm -hmm. You'll need to level up a strike-based weapon to level ten, and then give it to the giant blacksmith in Anor Londo. Uh, so modify like weapon. A, I think it should be in level up or a reinforced weapon. To level up your great axe. Yeah. Yep. But for the giant hammer, a plus 10 mace should do the trick. And. How much are you worth? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, right. I forgot that. One more. Yeah, baby. Looking forgot clean. Sorry, go ahead. I forgot that upgrading dragon weapons takes up way more souls than regular weapons. Yeah, but look at this baby. This baby's beefy as shit now. Let's go. Big damage. All right, where am I off to? Back to Firelink. All right, Firelink it is. Yeah, the zone is to the immediate left of where Framp is. Now, with uh, real quickly, with leveling up weapons, that does that increase the amount of damage I deal? Yep, that increases the attack rate of that weapon. Gotcha. So, like, the amount of damage it does to enemies. Alright. Um, not where uh, these guys are, right? No. Though you can't talk to them. Oh, talk to anyone. <laughs> um, oh wait, where'd you go? I, I totally, like, didn't register. To uh, where Frampt is. Oh, that's right, the big thing downstairs, right? Yeah, the big snake guy. No, no, like down below, right? Yeah, uh, the snake guy. Uh, warp? Uh, to his immediate left, there should be a path. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little staircase. Bark, bark, bark. Bork. Oh, up the stairs? Well, there we go. This should be a graveyard. That's the next zone. Uh... I seem to be neighbors looking to get a dog in the future, so that'll be nice. Aww. I like dogs. Kind of dogs dog. are cool. 
Uh, he's debating whether or not to get like a small dog or to get like a really big dog. Can't choose between the two. Mm, gotcha. So like a so like a Pyrenees or something small like a Tushin. I guess medium sized dogs he does not want. <laughs> oh, I mean it would solve his problem because it's neither small nor big. It's both. It's a nice compromise. Exactly. Yeah, so technically you can go this way from the very beginning of the game, but the skeletons are pretty tough mm -hmm. for the early game, so it's best to do it now when you can one or two shot them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so if you hug the left side, there should be a kind of staircase down. I'll see where I can place my sign at the earliest. What the fuck? Did you see that? His his bones just like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Ah, there's the stairs. Bone physics. Oh, cave. Hello, cave. So I believe the enemies in this zone are kept alive by a necromancer, which you have to kill. So anytime you kill a skeleton, it'll come back after a couple seconds. Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? It's like pink bombs? What are those? Exploding skulls. Is there a way to, like, see what I'm doing? It's temporarily dark. I believe I can actually be summoned pretty much once you get out of that area where it's really dark. Oh, that's where you are. I assume you jumped into the pits. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going, so... Yeah, it's alright. Uh, the small hole in the wall or door? Oh, small, never mind, door is closed. Hole. Small hole in the wall, there should be an enemy with a lantern. You'll want to kill him as soon as possible. These skeletons fucking suck, dude. Yeah, imagine it took seven hits to kill them. That's the beginning of the game. Oh, wow. Yeah. Push lever. Mm -hmm. Place my sign down there by the bonfire. Dog, can you not, please? Stop Six making him bark. <laughs> bark, bark. The dog is cute, but he shall not be a part of the stream right now. Yeah, what breed is Al? Oh, he's a German Shepherd. Cool. He big boy. Big boy. He's a big goofy baby. I love him. It's alive. So, some of the skeletons in this zone are kept alive by necromancers, which, such as that one across the way. <laughs> that, that one just fucking <laughs> yep. beast out. He was like, I'm good, dude, later. So the only way to kill these skeletons is to either kill the necromancer or to kill them with a divine weapon, which I am currently using. Ah. No, Where are you running? That dude just did a fucking psycho crush. Yep. What, what the fuck? What was he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Psycho crushing. You're dead. You're a skeleton. You don't do that. The skeleton of M. Bison. Yeah, right. Yeah, these guys like to roll. I think there should be an item around here. Or just uh, a yeah, bunch the of items up up on the on the little cliff side there. Yeah, 
keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm not a a lot of nooks and crannies in here. <laughs> Nameless soldier. They explode. Don't fall off. They sure do. Yeah, you can't kill these guys. They just explode. So, uh, are they done? Oh. It... So it's probably best if I kill the skeletons so that they stay dead. Or if once you kill them, I give them a love tap. Oh, push lever? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, what's he doing here? Who? Oh, who's that? Should be a guy. Usually, he only shows up if you go here, like at the beginning of the game. So I have no idea what he's doing now. <laughs> he's just hanging out, dude. God, f these fucking statues—they suck. Those fucking statues are awful. It's skeletons. All right. And the guy was... Oh, oh. Well, it's an empty-ass room. Great. Yeah, I think one of those floors kind of crumbles if you stand on it. But I don't think that leads to anything other than that items that aren't really important to you. Great. Waste of time. Got that soul. Dodge that shitty statue. We're good. Skeleton sucks. Can I backstab skeletons? Yeah, I can. <laughs> as unnecessary as that is, I can do it. Does this one come back? Yep. Just give him a nice little love tap. Nothing here. Ah, this way. God damn it, Troy, you're the worst. My roommate in the chat <laughs> says, walk off a cliff and die right now and I'll gift a sub. I'll do it if you buy dinner. Three deaths for dinner? I don't know if I can do that right now. Oh, is that the way to go? Whoops. I missed it. Oh, did There's you die? Yep. Well. Uh, can't see where the next step is. It's probably fine. Oh, I fell down a cliff. All right, we're good. Played a cutscene for some reason, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, should I have waited for you? This is bad. Now Cthulhu's here. Skeleton beard. How How do you... Oh, he's like... He's a miner? Why... Why... why is... What? That's the blacksmith. He's just a... a fucking skeleton that has like bones in his mustache yep he's got a bone beard I mean that's hype I guess but just gonna quickly rest at the bonfire alright at the I rested at the bonfire Can I talk to him? Will he make me stuff or no? 
Yeah, he's a blacksmith. He will specifically make weapons into fire weapons. Nice. Uh, so modify or reinforce? Uh, modify if you want to make a fire weapon. No weapons for ascension. Great. Oh, I think you have to have a plus 10 weapon to do that. Ah, and probably your why. Dragon King Great Axe can't do it because it's a boss weapon. Uh, so you want me to just wait by the bonfire here or go ahead? I'm just about there. Okay. Just killing some skeleton fools. Damn, that guy got roasted. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to that guy? Yeah, the area that he opened up is going to be a shit show. Oh, great. That's even better. Yeah, I changed that. My roommate tried to cheer one bit again, but I changed it so to make it the minimum is 100. Fuck you. <laughs> Where did this guy die from? Well, it, it's good to know that all the deaths here have been like combos, so they just uh, and the die. Yeah, not looking forward to the next area. Is, would you call it one of the worst ones, or no? Uh, it's not as bad as the Anerlando archers, but it's up there. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not as bad as the worst thing in the game. <laughs> worst thing you've seen so far. Uh... <laughs> we should be fine. I think. Maybe. Small child. Yep. Made the drop. Made the second drop. <clears throat> also, I love that this game, uh, when it drops you in here, the guy breaks a thing in the wall. He says, okay, you can leave now. And then it spawns a skeleton and a necromancer right behind you. What a dick move. All right. Sign is by the bonfire. Hmm. Ah, there you go. Test something to see if we can somewhat mitigate this area. <laughs> I should show sure that is this area. All right. Really hyping it up, huh? Yeah. Uh, what makes it so bad exactly? So you know all those guys getting comboed. Yeah you're seeing yeah so there's an enemy type here probably best to tiptoe our way forward called bone wheel skeletons mm -hmm. and they'll charge at us and when they charge at us oh what the fuck sock the hedgehog so the entire time that they're doing that that's just a hitbox just happening at all times great love that I think there's seven of them here in total. And they have a massive, like, they can see everywhere. So it's very easy to get comboed by them. Oh. Ah! Let's see if this does anything. Man, I am dealing heavy ass damage now. Ooh, what's this? Oh, nothing, I guess. Ah! What the fuck were the? Oh, those, those is uh, it's them uh, explodey guys. Explodey guys. I don't like those. Good. Okay, that went much better than I expected. Definitely helps with two people. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was about to say, 
Well, it also helps that when you block, it just moves you out of their way. So. So dropping down in the next area, unless there's a fog wall here. Yeah, there's a fog wall. Great. Dropping down to oh, the I next could, area. I could traverse it. The boss. There yep. we go. Boss fight. So this is the boss I mentioned earlier. That's a bit of a pushover. Just drop down. I'll just... Yep. Does this one suck or? Oh, this one's easy. Oh, it's easy. Great. Probably kill him in like four hits. Even better. I really hope it goes as smoothly as you say because Troy looks like he doesn't like this boss, which means he lost at it a lot. <laughs> I hope we smoke it in five seconds. I can just sit back and watch. I mean, Good if you luck. want to do that. Good luck. Nice. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Homeward bone. Okay. We're chilling. Oh, and then pick up item. Mask of the mother. So, uh, get fucked. It was easy. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. That was surprisingly easy. So I and just were fighting going out of here. Under, uh, you can progress forward. There should be a ladder. Oh, a ladder? Uh, yeah, on the side of the. I think it's to the right of where his like table is. Yeah, just bone your way out. Ah, there we go. And and that yeah, was the uh, that was the version with one point five times health, right? So, yep. Five. Well, if hits. I wasn't there, that would have been even easier. Oh, it's like a little sparklies on the ground. I follow those. I'd recommend equipping the sunlight maggot. It should be a helmet. Uh, the game does not like me wearing this thing at all. All right, there we go. Mm. Oh, okay. It's going to be pretty important for this area. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you're back. And now you're gone again. I feel like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog when I do that. Big boy status. Let me know Let's once go. you get to an area where there's a guy with a big shield and a spear. Oh, big shield and a spear. Hello. So immediately to his left, there should be like a zone kind of below. They'll probably see a bunch of messages. Uh, oh, or back backwards into the left. Oh, it played a cutscene. Oh. Yeah, I like walked up to a cliff and it like just started playing a cutscene. I wonder if this skips anything. Oh, he just kicked me. Yep. What a dick. Rusty patches. Why do you do that? I thought the treasure were the friends we made along the way. 
I'll you... place my sign by the corpses down there. Can I take their items? Yeah. Ooh, proud Knight. Proud Knight. Proud Knight. Or Skull Lantern? Then you. Hello. <clears throat> is a uh, is like another actual boss coming up or is that was that the boss? Uh, we'll eventually get to a boss. That's sick. Why do you yeah, do well, that? I... If I talk to him, would we be friends instead? If you talked to him, he would have asked if you were a cleric, and if you said yes, then he would, I think he would either attack you or it would kind of lock you out of his quest. If you said no, then you'd say, hey, there's some pretty cool items down there. You should check them out. Uh, what <laughs> a dick. You, then they'd kick you off. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. Who, who, who? All right. All right. She has nothing to say. I don't care. Bye. Wait, I can't help you fight these guys, sadly. Why? Although Why? I can, I can heal you, though. Why? So. Why? Fuck. They don't show up on my world. Wait, what? Bitch. You uh you got a little uh little that uh, magic juice going on there? Tried to heal you, but we were just out of range. That's okay. She should have something to say. Replenishment. Oh shit, is that my heal? Yeah, it's a regen spell. How do I equip that? I don't think you have the stats for it. Cool. I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> well, I'm out of Estus, so let's hope I win. Well, we haven't died once, so it's fine. Yeah. We're pretty close to a bonfire. Why do things keep dying? Because I'm killing enemies. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I was like way behind because I was in menus and stuff. It's great. Just like, yo, this get, this place is easy. No problem. <laughs> Enemies killing themselves? No, like, chilling. So if you look down to the left, you should see a bonfire. Yep. Do I go down there? Or... Yeah, you can drop down here. Oh, crystal out. I did it. Yeah, so once you go back up the ladder, you can talk to the guy. Unless he's aggro, in which then you've probably accidentally kind of locked yourself out of that. So he would become a vendor. Oh, uh, eh. yep. Trusty patches. Uh, we're jolly undead. Uh, yes or no? Yes, gives you a merchant's no, makes them hostile. And then no. No, make some attack. Yeah. Okay. Well. Weirdo. All I'll right. place my sign just out here. 
behind him. Okay. Or I guess in front of him, technically. Can I kick him off the cliff? Probably not the best idea. Oh, is he is he good stat wise? Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm you not can... take him. Fuck you. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> After whatever the next boss is, I think we'll call it for the day. Sounds good. Yeah, so this area is really dark and annoying, so we'll just take an optimal route to get through it. To avoid as much annoying stuff as possible. Yeah, these guys have a kind of oh. charging attack that's really rough. Oh, fog door. Yeah. Luckily, most of them can be avoided. Should be a black knight around here. You said there wouldn't be any archers. Now I'm mad. Skeleton and Orlando archers. <laughs> yeah, right. The skeletal remains of the Anne Orlando archers. I could have sworn there was a black knight around here. Well, I mean, it's hard to see him. Nice. Down this way. So if we hug the right wall, go down here. Kill this guy. Down here. Whoa. Okay. I didn't know if it was cool. Okay. <laughs> Hug the right wall instead of. Eh, we can fight them. Yeah, we don't have to fight all these guys, but we're already here. Holy so shit. These dudes are nimble. Oh, wait. He just jumped off a cliff. Great. Yep. This way. Just quickly heal. Down here. Should be invaded by another NPC. Switching to stronger weapon. Leroy! Leroy Jackins. Hey! <laughs> Fucking pranked. Got him. It was either backstab or he jumps back off the cliff, so... Switch back to faith weapon. Shitty skeleton balls. Should be a bunch of those pinwheels. that but here we are all right so that's the boss door okay yeah 
Yeah, so the boss summons a bunch of skeletons during some of their attacks. So Oof. if I kill the skeletons, they'll stay dead. All right, if you want to focus on those, then I'll try and, like, zero down the boss then. <laughs> Does have a big AoE attack, so be mindful of that. Great. It's looking pretty neat, though. Oh, is that the joke you made earlier? Mm-hmm. I didn't know what the joke was, but so, but uh, it's part of the stream title, so I was like, yeah, I can make, I can make it work. The rave Lord Nita. <laughs> oh, just like blinking LEDs. The biggest boy. All the skeletons. Hey. -o. Oh well. Okay. Well. Yeah, he can do that. All right, let's get moving, shall we? Oh, I don't want to focus on the skelly boy. Oh shit, you all right? I'm okay. Hey, we attack. Luckily, he can also hit his own skeletons. Uh, where did you go? I'm currently inside of the boss. <laughs> Ow. Oh, you're being ganged up on. Yeah. Working on it. Oh, almost about to die. All right, this should be it. Just three. One more. Come on. No. One more. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Don't. What, what's he doing? Die already. Fuck you. You suck. Phase two. Nah, just kidding. Oh, well, sh shut the fuck up. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Humanity obtained. All right. Whew. Now, uh. First try. Oh, someone's pelvis is spinning. You spin me right round, right, baby. Right, right. <laughs> All right, bonfire. Hey. That was clean as fuck. Let's go. Oh, and I got three level ups from that? Let's see. I get quite a bit out of that. All right, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, ooh, that was a good level up. I like that level up a lot. All right. Well then, I think I'm good. I feel like we made a very healthy amount of progress today. Boss is down. Hell yeah. Oh, well, we well, fought three of them, right? Yeah, I guess uh, ceaseless discharge. Yeah, we uh, we discharged and then we fought that shitty pinwheel like magician fuck and then like uh we just killed the rave lord so we're we're chilling you know mm -hmm. uh there we go gotta click off of that all right but uh we have uh we're gonna do this again tomorrow yeah around the same time sounds good all right cool goodbye everyone have a good night Yeah, I'll leave the voice chat. Yeah, if you need to, feel free.